Hey Minecrafters of the Minecraft world, uh, this is Wink Games, and I'm going to show you today, right now, how to make a, um, a sliding doors with a lock. First part of this video will just show you how to make the sliding doors that will open with pressure plates. <coughs> and then the second video, part of the video, uh, will show you how to get the, uh, what do you call it? Get your lock on it. Uh, the lock, and then I'm gonna sh show you how to put a T flip flop in there. So, basically, right here used to be an elevator, but then I changed it because I have that one and that one, and I'm probably gonna delete that one soon. Um, so, basically, you're gonna start out with your sticky pistons, and you're gonna stack them three high. You can do it too high, but for this purpose, I would recommend three high. And then I then go one, two, one, two, and then place it like this. Why you put it like that um, is because gosh, I'm having a hard time here. Okay, why you put it like that because the blocks in front are gonna push here, and then they're both gonna stick just like that. Okay, then. You're going to bring it back twice and down one just like that. It's like, okay, and then on the same thing on this side. Okay, so that's pretty simple. We'll put my blocks here just so they're already there. Oops. Okay, uh, you're going to need pressure plates, so let me go get pressure plates. You can use wood or stone. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig down twice here, dig down one there, one or three here, and then you'll just keep digging over. Okay, dig that out and then do it on the same side or on the other side. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, just like that. And then you'll mirror this on that side. So let's go quickly do that. fast of this I've built this billions of times Sorry. I wasn't supposed to make that extra side Sorry. okay all right so now you have that what you're gonna do is take your redstone and just put it there and then the same thing on the other side basically both sides are the exact same okay then bring it up like this, and you'll see that it activates both of those. Well, here's the problem. Now that one's not. You're just going to bring it like that, and you'll activate it. So do that on this side also. Oops. And there. Oh, put it right there. All right, so that's basically how you do it. Now you're thinking, okay, how do you make it do that? That's why we dug down here. Okay, now just dig all the way down. until you hit this end just like this sorry I dug down one okay so you did that um, I can't really see so alright so now from here you're gonna count one two, one two three four five and then go like that okay so then once you have that that those two are right underneath those pressure plates. Put them both like this. And then bring it over. Just like that. What's standing on it? What just happened to my game? And so there we go. Sorry for some. I can't see because it's nighttime. There we go. I just pretty much ruined the whole system. Alright, for some reason, something is standing on these pressure plates. Oh, this torch is activating them. Okay, so, uh, there we go. Sorry about that. That just messed up for some reason. 
then bring them up just like that. One second, let me take care of something. Sorry, you can see that. That was just being annoying because it makes sounds. My friends are trying to call me, but I'm trying to make this video. So, um, now you'll just do the exact same thing on the other side. So, you'll dig all the way down. This is a lot easier if it's daytime. So, I recommend doing it in daytime. So, count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then those just like that. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so this is basically the door. You can cover it up now and watch it go. Now, if you see, that just makes it so, boom, opens it. Now you're thinking, okay, how do I make the lock? So I'm gonna coat it. This side's gonna be the inside. And that side's gonna be the outside. Okay, I color code it. Color code almost everything. Okay, so um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. So this, because this is the outside, what we're going to do is from right here. Let's say we have our button or whatever here. We're going to do this with a button. To do this with a button, you're going to want to put a T compact T compact whatever thing maneuver. I can't talk right now. It's really annoying. Okay, you can build this into your house and so it makes it a lot easier for you and I actually do recommend doing that but you don't have to I have a video and I'll put a link in the description on how to do this part I'm kind of going fast and so you can't really tell what I'm doing I'm just building my tea compact flip-flop just to make this a lot easier you can do it with a switch if you do it with a switch you can just take it down you don't have to do this whole compact thing but I'm gonna do it with a compact because I'm a troll okay so now this is your output so we'll bring that oops okay so now it's gotta come boom 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 So, all right, so then bring it down into your hole like this, okay? And so, now what you're going to want to do is just go back like this. Ooh, I keep doing that. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so from here, all you want to do is cut back one, two, three, four. You can just do four. Just do four. Okay, just cut back just like that. Don't open up the whole area. I'll show you where you stop. You stop about right here. So, sorry if you can't see. It's kind of dark in here. Okay. Now just cut this line right here. Okay. Cut that open. All right. So basically now what you're gonna do is come here and just cut back. What? Or that would have been one, two, three, four. Five, six. Now I need to cut over and over. It opens up here. Okay, sorry if you can't really see this very well. I hope you can. Okay, then you'll just put your block here. Bring your torch here. Boom, boom. Your door is going to be deactivated for now. So that's basically this mechanism, as you can see, I'm building. And then you put your. Make sure that goes up on top. Uh, for some reason, it won't work. If it doesn't, I, I don't know why. It's just been stupid lately. But you know what? Oh, okay. So uh, now that works. So then bring this power line. I would put. Oh, sorry. I would put a repeater just right here, just to keep it going. And the repeater won't put too much of delay. If you have a bunch of repeaters, you will get a delay, but you'll be fine here. Okay, so that puts there. I'll explain how this actually really works all the way in just a minute. Now do that on the other side, just mirrored. One, two, three, four. 
Four, sorry about that. I can sneeze. A height sneezing. Alright. So then just cut all this out. Sorry, it takes a minute to cut out. Okay. So then cut back one, two, and now you can just cut all the way over until you get open like this. Okay, now take your redstone and take it all the way down. And I would Okay, put it in there. Now put this block in. You're doing the kind of basically the same thing. We've got to cut this off. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Okay. So it's pretty simple. That's basically it. That's all you have to do. Now you can cover this up all of this up if you really want to you don't have to but you can you can put a switch if you put a lever or if you call it a lever it just has to come down and go in the hole you don't have to have this compact but if you want to do it with a button you have to have this compact I'll put a link in the description of my compact T compact uh, flip-flop uh, video um, and that's how you do it so basically I'll show you how this works so if I do this these don't open it as you can see but if I come and click this button it turns that off and so now it'll work oh crap why isn't it Okay, for some reason this isn't working. Let me try to figure out why. Sometimes this key compact doesn't work with a sliding door. It usually does, but for some reason neither of these switches here are. Okay, I gotta put a lever, figure out what's going on. Okay. Should turn off. Why is it not turning off? Oh, that. That's why. All right. So, sorry. I just had that up on the wall. So that basically is it. Uh, that lever. I can get rid of the lever. Put the pressure plate back. So that's basically it. Um, uh, subscribe, and I'll keep posting videos on how to do some cool stuff. And uh, if you want to learn how to make this, if you're wondering what it is, uh, I have a video on that. I'm not going to put it in the description. You can just go to my wall. It's called the How to Make an Elevator in Minecraft. And that's pretty easy. Uh, right now, while I'm doing this video, I'm actually uploading that video, and it might take a while. So, um, But that one will be done before this one actually gets uploaded. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See you.